I am so happy. Hopefully, look nice. If you don't look nice, man, I'll keep. And I welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's Susie. Welcome to Sue Lifestyle. If you're new here, please go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. Today is Monday, guys. It is Monday. I'm not turning light like the week. The flies so fast. Like it's going by so quick. It's not even funny. Um, last week was a slow week for me. I didn't do nothing much last week. Did I? Yeah, I didn't do not much last week. Um, so this week I plan to get my eyebrows done. You know, they're all grown up now. Like, yeah, it needs to start out. I'm currently in Waltham store with Aiden. He has his extra lesson. Then what? Then I'm gonna go to Costco. The other day I said I was gonna go to Costco. I didn't go because like Avery was crying and she was a bit fussy after the play and stay. So I said I just let me just go. I am going to go to Costco. I need bath towels and apparently I think they sell good quality bath towel because listen to my, my bath towel them they look ruggedy like mm -mm, it's not giving so i'm gonna get some bad towel I'm, I'm sitting in my car and like people are looking at me like what is this what's wrong with this girl talking <laughs> this girl is just chatting you know people fast so yeah so that's the plan for this evening it's currently like what time now about i'm sure it's about after five now or so so I'm here just waiting on Aiden to come and then I am going to Costco and then I will check in back with you guys later or if not it's tomorrow thing. So hey guys we're back home and Aiden wants to show you guys his books that he got from Costco. He wants to unbox them. Yeah. Okay. What are these books? When PK we read them at school. Um, I read one at school, yeah. It was, um, it was fun, yeah. Why, what is it about? Uh, it's just about um, stuff like like bad stuff and uh, when, 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 like when when you, when you go to survival and what and this is there's a kid named Wimpy mm -hmm. and, and then he went to his mom let him went to some camp survival so, mm -hmm. so he can learn to do stuff by himself. Oh, okay. So so this is all the collection basically. Yeah. So technically I read this one at school. Okay. This one at school. Then all these mm -hmm. I have read. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to read all of them, yeah? Yeah. All right. The price is wrong. <laughs> so the price was sixteen ninety nine. Know that. And how many books come in there? 11. One, 11. Hi. Every <laughs> saying hi. Avery, it's not your book. It's my book. So, don't bother take them out. So yeah, so we got that for Aiden. Mommy, you know we this is new at our school. We just got it. Okay. At school. There's so so much you can to, read all of them. Yeah, there's so much to read and so much to find out. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me show you guys what else I pick up. Costco. Yeah. Bye guys. Yeah guys. So let me show you guys what I got. Eden, we got some juice here. Hold on. Let me show you. We got these juice for the kids. Eden, put that in the cupboard for me, please. Yes. We got some. Oh, accidentally opened this. We got the Oreos. Mommy, it doesn't matter if it's open and I got this mat for the kitchen. I'm going to see how it looks. Hopefully it looks nice. If it doesn't look nice, I'm gonna keep it. So this is how it, it looks, guys. I don't know if, I'm, if I like it, if I'm going to keep it. I think it looks a bit too big. 
for this area. I don't know. I think it looks a bit too big. I probably needed a smaller one, like, you know, so. But it feels nice. Feels nice. But I'm thinking it doesn't look too big. Mm. Comment down below and let me know. But go and pass. But I'm just thinking it looks too big. What do you think, Aiden? How it looks? What? Good. It looks good? Yeah. With the ice cream people then. Mm. So I'm thinking it should be. I don't know. For me, I was thinking it should be um, a bit smaller. But for my tour, yeah, but it does take all, all the dust from over here. Oh. And it's going to make the thing underneath here dirty. So I just... So I got these bad towels. Um, How much did I pay again? I think it was like £9 each for each one. Because I needed some bad towel. And the quality on these, oh my god, it feels so freaking good. So I got three of them. I got the gray. The what color is it? No, it has a light brown. No, cream. Cream. A cream? Yeah, creamish color. And I got a white. Yeah. So I'm gonna take them and buy some more. Well, they only had one of these colors, so that's why I wanna pick up these ones. So I'm going to throw the towels, like the whole regular one them that I have and replace them with these three. I'm going to wash them too before I put them in the, before I even use them. There you go. So I say with 100% high grow cotton so yeah it feels so good though the quality on this feels amazing i would definitely recommend costco towels the quality feel good for the nine pound feel really good okay guys yeah um hey guys it's tuesday um today i'm on the road Again, I guess we must have said every minute with the pan. The road army always in my car. But I am currently, um, what am I going to do today? Oh, I'm here for an appointment. I'm here to see my GP because, listen, I don't, remember, I don't remember if I told you guys that I wasn't feeling well. I have a sore throat. The back of my throat is in flame. Like, it's so red. When I swallow, it hurts so much. I've been goggling with salt water and all that, but still now work. It's not helping, so I'm going to the GP and I am going to get some probably antibiotics for sure. And then I'm going to pop into Primark and see what's happening in there. I haven't been to Primark for a long time. I think the last time, I, no, well, I've been this year, let me not lie, I've been before I went to Jamaica. I've been before I went to Jamaica, so yeah, so it's me and Avery here. Say hi. Say hi. Go on, say hi then. Say hi. Do like this. Hi. It's her, it's, it's her, um, it would be her nap time now so she's a bit settled so i know she wants to sleep i did not i forgot to bring her i forgot to bring her blanket so next time i need to i need to always remember to bring that fear um yes yeah, so guys that's the plan for today my girl gp get my throat check out and i'm a bit early Ooh. It's currently, I've been on this intermit, intermittent fasting, that's how you word me, intermittent fasting, fasting, 
so I don't eat until I run. I'm not going to eat until about 11, 12 ish. So I ate last night around. Girl, I ate last night around 6. Was it? No, 7. I had my last meal at 7. I didn't eat anything else after that. Look at this girl. But watch here. Look at her, wanna come come out this car seat and sit in down. Like I said, she big. So guys, anyways, yeah, that's that. What may I cook for dinner today? Today I might make some some why is something I call again? Fry rice. I'm gonna do some fry rice. Chicken and prawn fry rice. So yeah, that never do today. So let me go and I'm early. It's ten twenty one. My appointment is ten thirty. So, but you know this GP. If me even going ten thirty, I'm gonna get seen ten thirty. I guarantee you, I'm gonna get seen probably maybe at eleven before they see me or quarter to eleven. But. Yeah, I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone is having a great week so far. Um, the weather is... The sun is out, but it's still chilly. It's not as warm, but it's not as cold either. So today is, is okay weather. Um, yeah, and that's that. I'm going to go now, and I'll check in back later. I'm going to see what we get from Primark, if I get anything. Me show no come on no no hey guys so I am back I am finished with my appointment and let me tell you I am so happy but no no I am so happy that I went to this appointment or I booked this appointment because you see when I went and I see a doctor with my skin complexion I say yes that's what I want to see you get me because I'm going to lie my old doctor um doctor I'm not gonna put her name out there but she's a beautiful doctor like doctor i'm not gonna put her in i almost say her name the doctor that my gp surgery that i am now yeah back story quick back story my two kids she she was there for them and now she's retired like the best gp i ever have the best doctor ever like when i tell you this lady she's a black woman she's a mother she's a grandmother she she was very caring towards me. You understand? When she left, I barely go back to this GP. And the reason why I barely went back, to, to be honest, like the GP there that were there or that are there now, I should say, are all white. And most of them that are white, they don't get us black people. I'm sorry to say, but they don't. Like sometimes, not all of them, but most of them, Sometimes you go there to, you know, speak to them. They don't have no compassion. They, you know, they just don't care. And today, when I tell you this doctor, I can't even remember her name. But she's a beautiful young lady. Very caring. And I have to say to her, like, I'm happy to see you. Like, I feel so relieved to come and see a black woman looking after me. Like, the feeling that I get when my own people... Is looking after me. I feel comfort. I feel heard. I feel like they know the struggles. They know what I'm going through or whatever the case may be. And I can open up and talk to them. You understand? Like, shout out to my new doctor. Because anytime I go back there, as she may ask. I'm going to ask her if she's not there, I'm going to ask her specifically. Like, this lady is so sweet. I feel so happy that 
I went today and I booked an appointment and further I did not book her because I did not know I do not have a steady doctor now but let me tell you she's going to be my steady doctor okay may not ask Christ very nice lady but I feel so happy and to be honest here in the UK you don't have a lot of black doctors like how I see in America like there's a lot of black doctors and black teachers here in the UK you don't even see a lot of black teachers there's bare white teacher bare Caucasian teachers not a lot of um black teachers black doctors yeah so and even if there is maybe they study and they leave the country because hey UK don't pay enough money to keep them here and London is very expensive very expensive to live so that was a good appointment I feel so happy so now I'm on my way to Primark oh she prescribed antibiotics because she's saying that my tonsil is swollen it's draining the back of my throat is oh it's a mess at the moment so I have to be on antibiotics for 10 days so that's not I'm not happy because I do not like taking tablets I'm not going to lie Don't get my 